Okay, we're here to open Trouble with Troubles. It's a Star Trek CCG set. This is part two, if you didn't catch part one. I mean, I'm speaking as if there's actually a viewer there, but <laughs> there's not. So I'm going to pretend anyways, just for the sake of it. Cardboard crack. Smells good. If I ever get a viewer, people are going to be very... Either they're going to completely understand why I smell the cards, or they're going to be like, what the... Starship Constitution. Storage compartment door. Again, this is something that you would seed with. That would allow you to seed as you start the game with it. And that would allow you to play certain Tribble cards. Does anyone actually like Tribbles or the Tribble episodes? I never understood why they were a thing. Like they made a separate card game just called the Trouble with Tribbles. I, ne I never got that. I mean, the DS9 episode was, I guess, entertaining. But I don't know. I never understood the whole Tribble thing. Subspace Transporter. Classic Communicator. Chain Reaction Pulsar. That's a really cool looking card. So there's tactic cards which were introduced in the later years of, of, the, of the game. And uh, they allow you to do certain things during battle. Um, before tactics, battles were uh, overly simple but Tactics made an attempt to make them more interesting. So you have, if you win the attack with this Tactic, you apply these to your to your uh, opponent's ship that lost the battle. So if it was this ship that lost the battle, it would move from 5 range to 4 range, 7 weapons to 6 weapons, and lose a lot of shields. Good looking card. Falar. Mondor and our rare. I like to play a game, or I like to play a game, where you, I always do this as a kid, get excited. You look right here, you see if it's something you're looking for in the set, like if you know there's a, there, if there's a Picard in the set and you see that's Federation, you allow yourself to get excited because it's the rare slot. But this is Dominion. And we've got 5 Integrity, 7 Cunning, and 11 Strength. That's a whole lot of Strength. Uh, abilities. Your Breen and Jemadar ships in battle together are each weapons plus 2, leadership times 2, and medical. Now, which Dominion... Let's see which Dominions are in the set. No, I don't recognize any of the Dominion names in the set, so I won't be able to guess this. Thought Gore. General in the Breen Confederacy, key figure in forging the Dominion Breen Alliance, respects the founder, accepts Wayun, disregards Damar. I remember, uh, yeah, Damar and the Cardassians hated these guys because these guys were higher in the food chain. Now this set I didn't think would be uh, fun to open. It's called Trouble with Tribbles, but as you can see, there's a lot of different stuff in here. It's not just not just silly tribbles, which makes it cool. Lamb. So you compare the stats. Well, I thought Gore, I remember, was more of a main. And you can tell from the large star that he has here. Main characters tend to have these large stars, which um, allow them to... Uh, crew the uh, larger ships. Another starship constitution. Scan cycle check. One triple. <laughs> Absolutely silly. Vara Tadion. Janok. Panel Overload, Thought Prawn, 
lots of dominion in this set. I like that because uh, I like to have access to all the different factions so that you can play any you like in a deck. I like a variety, being able to play one faction one week, one faction the other week. Mondor. Ten triples. And we have a rare dilemma. Chulu the drink. Chula the drink. To get past, four personal present, random selection, must be tested. All four are stopped unless one has cunning less than six or cunning greater than nine. Stopping four personnel is basically a guaranteed way to stop someone from uh, completing a mission that turn because that's just a lot of abilities that you're taking off the table, a lot of stats that you're taking off the table. And uh, personnel and ships become unstopped during the next turn. So it's just a one turn thing. But these games, if I recall correctly, tended to last about six to ten turns. So one turn is quite a lot. Now this is a trouble card that you would play at a location where your triple is. Requires 100 triples or a triple bomb on a ship or facility when any personnel moves away from this group. Up to ten this group's tribbles and or your tribble bomb present may go with that person now. What does the hundred tribbles do? Let's see if we have it here. No, we just have the ten tribbles. Classic type 2 phaser. On the station. Requires a thousand tribbles. Just after this group breeds, up to a hundred of its tribbles may spread. Yeah, silly. Just silly. A lot of people that still play first edition don't even bother playing triples. The, the first edition game is very overly complicated and bloated if you haven't seen my other videos. Um, so when people do play first edition, a lot of people, at least homebrew, taking out a lot of the extra card types that they added in. And the game started with believe six card types which just events, dilemmas, personnel, ships, missions which are like planets. And that's it except for maybe interrupts. And then it got it got up to about 16 card types eventually. It's just too intense. The ball. Q gets the point. 10 dribbles. Trouble bomb. So that's what one of the triples was. One of the trouble cards was uh, mentioning. Just, just silly. <laughs> Lieutenant Nagata. We have a rare Federation. It's a ship. What ship has such low stats? Let's see. What ships are in the set? We have the Columbus, Starship Constitution, Starship Enterprise. This... I don't see how the Enterprise would have such low stats, but we just got a Columbus and that was a common. So this is either an Enterprise. It's not a cost. It has to be an Enterprise. So for comparison, let's look at the Defiant that we got the other day. In mirror mirror now obviously the defiant is a warship it's got a hundred years of advanced technology on the uh, classic enterprise so here's the defiant let's look at the defiant defiant has eight range ten weapons nine shields and uh, Obviously, the Enterprise has 656, so it's quite a weak ship, the enter the old Enterprise, but still very cool. I mean, these cars just look amazing.
and the transporters. One dribble. Scan cycle check. Oops. On the bridge. On a ship, suspends attribute enhancements related to its matching commander. Where present, limits each mission attempt to 10 personnel. Rarely have more than 10 personnel on a mission at, at one mission in first edition, so that's not very beneficial. And attribute enhancements aren't that common, so. 62nd rule of acquisition. So, that's interesting. Deval, Galena, Bajoran Raider, Falar, and a rare dilemma. Artifacts, sorry. Uh, the other day I mentioned artifacts were uh, something that you start with, that you see on the table like dilemmas, and if you put artifacts in your deck, uh, in your seed deck, you therefore have less dilemmas making it easier for your opponent to complete their mission. So an artifact has to be very beneficial. Uh, what I forgot to mention was that uh, even though you do start with, with artifacts, you don't immediately get their benefits. You have to place them under a mission, and then it's like you complete that mission and you get an artifact as a reward. Use as equipment card once each turn your ship or away team if this orb and your or personnel present may time travel except to board opponent's ship or outpost. I'm not sure how that works. I think it means you can, uh, if you have one end of the space line that is alternate universe, which is designated by a red icon here. If you have one end of the space line, missions slash planets that are uh, alternate universe, and another that's in the current gamma quadrant, I think this allows you to move over. But I'm not completely sure. Again, I think it's a crime not to smell the packs every once in a while. Cardassian Bajoran Treaty. Another oops. That was a good episode. Lam. Suicidal Attack. Mordok. Carid. Live Long and Prosper. So this is kind of cool because I like the second part. So if you manage to uh, kill uh, an opponent's personnel, you can instead of you can let them have it back, but into their hand, and draw a card for each of the, their abilities. So, for instance, if you manage to kill Odo either through a dilemma or battle or whatever, and they went to the this card, you could say, "All right, you can have it back to your hand, but I'm drawing four cards." That's pretty cool. Drawing cards is very beneficial in this game because in first edition you are only default allowed to draw one card at the end of your turn. Drawing an extra four is really, really strong. Chain Reactor Pulsar. Chain Reaction Pulsar. Home Front. It's got a scratch on it. Burial Ground. Oh, that's boring. A rare Tribble. 10,000 triples. Yeah, there's like seven rare triples in this set, I believe. Breeds from a thousand triples were present. Mission attempts require two exobiology. Cancels probing on non dilemma cards and non board cards targeting this location. Exobiology is quite a rare um, personnel ability, so that might not be too bad. Requiring, uh, forcing them to have two exobiology might really mess up their plans. But they don't have to complete every mission that they start with, because you need less points than the number of missions that you can play with, at least in first edition. 
in the engine room. Brain disruption burst. Assigned support personnel. Storage compartment door. Bajoran phaser banks. Lieutenant Grant. Subspace transporter. Sherman's Peak. Thousand Troubles. Liam Bilby. Low ranking Orion Syndicate. Member Obis Rimus is, is his superior. In order to protect his wife and children, holds the family holds that family is the most important thing. We have a rare federation. Seven integrity, nine cunning, seven strength. Let's look at the rare Federation personnel. Quite a lot. Dak's gonna have nine cunning and seven integrity and seven strength. As could Bashir. Dax, first guess, nice. Did anyone guess that? Again, I'm speaking as if there's anyone there, but <laughs> maybe one day there will be. Archaeology, astrophysics, anthropology, classic tricorder. So again, that triangle means she can search for a classic tricorder from your deck. Though Jadzia, though Jadzia Dax had never met the handsome Mr. Spock, the troll friendly recalled her symbiont's encounter with Dr. McCoy. He had the hands of a surgeon. Sexual innuendo. Awesome. I'm very happy to get Dax. Always happy to get Dax. On the station, Organian Peace Treaty. <clears throat> Oops. In the engine room, Lieutenant Grant. Lineup. After a bar fight with Klingons on Station K7, Captain Kirk ordered a lineup. No crewman claimed responsibility for starting the brawl, but none pointed the finger at Mr. Scott either. Mordock. Nils Barris. Agricultural assessment. 100 dribbles. Another rare federation. Seven integrity, six cunning, four strength. That might be Ahura. Let's see what series it's from. Deep Space Nine, so that's not Ahura. I'm not sure that is. That can't be Bashir. Bashir would have way more cunning. Right. Is that the time travel guy? Yeah. Agents of Department of Temporal Investigations. Calculates dates over a century old to the exact day of the week. Hates predestination paradoxes. One moment, I'm going to get something to drink. Suicidal attack on the station. Lamb. Temporal investigations. Plays on table once every turn. If opponent reports a uh, alternate universe personnel or ship to Avocara space line, you may draw one card or download Luxi or Doomer. Timing. Subspace transporter. Genok, Bajoran Phaser Banks, Bajoran Shrine, a 
thousand tribbles thought brand and a rare incident hq orbital weapons platform plays on any home world each time opponent initiates battle here against your ship or facility matching this home world's affiliation just after it's targeted each of your orbital weapons platforms here may fire upon an opposing ship present each ship fired upon is damaged I don't know what that means I need to look that up I think maybe if you're if I had to guess I'm probably wrong if your uh, weapons are more than two higher than the shields I need to look that up sorry about that someone probably knows if any of it, anybody eventually watches this Leave a comment. Tell me what it means. Oops. Brain disruptor burst. Assign support personnel. Chula, the way home. Near the end of their Chulu experience, three Deep Space Nine senior staff members were enticed to follow an image of Julian Bashir. He claimed to have found the way home. Romulan and Bajoran Treaty? That is such an odd treaty. After the Romulan Star Empire's entry into the Dominion War in 2374, Senator Kretok established a Romulan military presence on Deep Space Nine and a fragile trust with Kira. <laughs> That's quite a uh, thin basis for an actual treaty that allows you to... Uh... <laughs> Have your Romulan and Bajorans work together. On the bridge, Yint, Triple Bomb, Defend Homeworld. Caesar plays on table. When opponent initiates a battle against your card at a homeworld, matching that card. Oh, we already read this. Oh, I just read on the rare, but it's the, a fun one, so it's alright. Council of Warriors. Plays on your Klingon mission, showing less than 30 points. So that means a, uh, let's see here. So this would be a Klingon mission, but it doesn't show less than 30 points. That's a Klingon mission. So this means that Federation, Romulan, and Klingon can attempt this mission. No one else can attempt it. Plays on your Klingon, Klingon mission, showing less than 30 points, or Quanos. If attempted, that is just, oh, if unattempted, right? Nullified if you play or have played scan, full planet scan, or non-Klingon personnel. If you solve by the end of your next turn, place the objective in point area. Place here all ships, your ships destroy in battle, and all personnel your Klingons kill in personal battle to score points equal to weapons or strength printed on guard. So, if you manage to destroy two ships in a battle at that Klingon mission, and those ships have seven weapons each, you would score 14 points. So, that could make it so you needed to complete one less planet mission. In the transporters, and again, there is a um, ultra rare in this set. It's a uh, McCoy. I'd really love to open the ultra rare. Yeah, I just I didn't really like the Tribbles that much. I don't know why they were such a. Maybe it was a forced fascination. Maybe no one really liked Tribbles, but. People who made the card game or shows and stuff just thought people really loved them. I mean, the DS9 episode was cool because it, but that was because it was cool to see the DS9 personnel characters in the classic universe. It wasn't because of Tribbles. We look for things. VR headset. Boy, they made this. They made this episode quite a while ago, and. uh I don't know. I don't know what I'm on about. It's just, um, yeah. Just with BR recently being more of a thing. 
Another boring triple card. 100,000 triples. Let's see. So this braids from 1,000 triples. This braids from 10,000. Where present prevents personnel from reporting for free. So that's in quote because in first edition, personnel didn't have a cost anyways. Uh, so I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure free meant if you had like a... Um, you could play or you could only play one personnel per turn and it was for, for free but you could play cards like red alert which would allow you to play as many as you want so i'm assuming the second one would be considered for free there's other cards as well so that prevents that if on a planet when that mission is solved reduce its point scored by 10. so yeah this box was um eight dollars about ten dollars total with shipping it's just I feel like you just can't go wrong at that price Starship Constitution storage compartment door Bajoran and Cardassian Treaty Chula the way home Danderdag Amet Tolox Carid Q the referee Ten Tribbles, Bajoran Shrine, another rare incident. Make it so. So these First Contact, First Contact is really hard to get a hold of the set. I remember that's when I started playing, so I had quite a bit of it. But it's really, it's so a lot of these sets are really cheap, and then some of them, like First Contact, are more expensive. Uh, they range from other sets that aren't. Eight. There's some that are eight, some that are forty, and then there's some that range from a hundred of up to six hundred. Caesar plays on table once each turn. If your stabbed ship has its matching commander aboard, you may unstop it. So if they have a dilemma that stopped every all your personnel or your ship, you could continue on, uh, or download Ready Room Door, or if that ship is in battle, even during opponent's turn, download a tactic card, once per game per tactic card title. Discard instant after use, unless that matching commander has a, I believe that's an original Trek icon. So let's look at well, the tactics. So it's good because you can start with this and then if a battle happens, even during your opponent's turn, you can search for a tactic from your deck. So if you have this out and you start with it, they're going to be wary of battling you because they know that at, any, at a moment's notice, you can download a tactic card which, you know, boost your, boost your ship quite a bit in battle. Well, I can't get this open. I used to prefer to open packs um, without tearing them, but it's really difficult with some of these packs. So I still have that habit and I try and open them from the top and then that happens. I like to open that way because when you play lots of magic and you buy lots of magic boxes, if you like to draft like I do, you can um, open packs and then pop them back in and draft with your friends. And it feels more real because the pack is still contained as in not totally ripped apart. So it's still, it feels more like an authentic draft. Not totally, but it's better than just having a stack of cards and drafting with those. Six of 13, Voratodon. I wish there was more Borg in this set. I do have some Borg boxes, but not sure if I'll open them. Q-type Android, Defend Homeworld, Homefront, Verrere Federation, a station, deep space, deep space case station K seven, awesome. All right, uh, I'll finish this up in the next video. If anyone has eventually watched this, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you.